How's it going, everybody? Sean Don, currently coming to you at 4.20 a.m. because I can't sleep. So, getting things done. Here we are. Two different technical analyses, analyses of the same person. Kiana Emerson, her father, John, sent these videos in. Um, we have two hammer throws we're going to take a little peek at. Um, and then a shop up video that will be uploaded shortly after this one. So, be sure to check that one out too, I guess. Sean Don does the shot put and the discus because I did throw it back in the day and did pretty well for my very meager strength levels at the time. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's watch both videos that were sent. And, uh, yeah. That's the first one, side view, that could be important, and then here we have a more front view, sort of. No, did I do? You did four. Okay, obviously the side view is a little bit more powerful, um, judging by the yell, and then also just the overall positions and everything. Um, I mean, honestly, things aren't too shabby. The biggest thing looks to be uh, posture fine there you can see yeah a lot of up and down movement not so much front to back not traveling very far across the ring I know John you said your daughter is smaller um, that being said I mean good job with the technique at five five hundred and forty pounds. Um, throwing the weight not the weight, the hammer and the shot put, despite only being four kilos, can still be pretty tough. So I mean gotta make up what you lack in size and technique. So um, a little bit up and down, shoulder with the left side just a bit. Not too tight through the arms, which is good. And then relatively patient, but yeah, so Maybe we'll come back to this side view, but the biggest thing here is that she doesn't have much pendulum. She doesn't have much direction. She is not going very um, lateral, at least in this view, across the circle, or if in her idea, in the circle, she needs to go more backwards uh, in double support, which is, once again, a kind of a byproduct of um, being a little bit smaller. You need to lean backwards into the throw a little bit more, whereas some of the bigger people don't need to do that as hard. I am one of the people that needs to lean a little bit farther back in the circle compared to some of my competitors at least. Obviously I'm not 5'5", five five, but yeah. So um, I think I'm gonna break this one down frame by frame and then maybe we'll go back to the other one and uh, once again, try to compare some things and, and uh, show you what needs to be fixed from a different angle. Fresh cup of coffee, 4.23 a.m., let's do it. Um, so in the wines, um, uh, let's start from the beginning. So off to the right, shoulders turned back. I'd say try to keep your hands, hopefully the computer's not too laggy today. Keep your hands long and out around this, um, in the winds. As you can see, hands are up and out here, but then they come kind of pull in towards the body. Keep your hands long around you make big circles in the lines that'll help with connection as you can see your hands are very t close and because of that because you're a little bit shorter your shoulders get tight try to keep your hands up and out and like i said big circles keep the hammer up but try not to shrug the shoulders um shoulders turn back good heads looking at what looks to be zero totally fine step up same thing big hands out hands are a little bit too close towards the body step up I'd say maybe get a little bit wider in this base um, with you being a little bit smaller, Kiana. Um, perhaps a little bit wider base will make you a little bit more stable in the entry. And the more stable you are in the entry, the more force you will be able to apply. That's kind of the whole basis of the hammer throw. The more stable you are, the more force you can produce. So the less you shift around and shift back and forth, depending on what part of the throw, the stronger you're going to feel and the farther the ball is going to go, hopefully. So, 
wind that base up a little bit. Controller turn back. Is that three winds? Did I count that correctly? One, two, okay, no, entry, sorry. Got distracted. Um, so yeah, coming through on the final wind, step up, around, eyes still looking at zero, hips facing zero. Um, you can see this right elbow kind of right near the torso. Once again, try to get that out. Keep that right elbow up and out away from the body. That'll help connection because as you can see here, left side, left side, left side, right side doesn't really kick in until about there. So also keeping that right elbow up um, will also help keep the hammer up. As you can see, the hammer orbit is already pretty steep as it comes through zero well just before zero as it hits the low point in this entry it's almost six inches off the ground i know once again being smaller it's harder to um i don't know generally not as strong um so it's gonna be a little bit harder to keep your hands up and keep the orbit up keep the hammer up in the entry but that's one thing i would focus on elbows up chest up um hands up hammer up this is something to check maybe from the side view but um once again, keep the hammer up a little bit. That will help with, with connection. Uh, the orbit is just too steep right from the start. Uh, from there, that's kind of your biggest problem. It's orbit too steep from the start, so then that pulls you forwards more than it needs to. And that is kind of what makes it hard to feel that pulse backwards or pulse forwards, depending on what part of the throw, towards the sector. You need to feel the energy of the hammer going towards 180 every turn, back and forth not up and down or around, back and forth for the most part. Um, so pretty solid patience through entry. I like this. Head stays pretty patient. Hips and everything is turning with the hammer. But then you see, so what goes down must come up as you go down here. Shoulders come forward just a bit. And then it's very subtle, but you can see your shoulders lift up and back there through the torso, your shoulders lift up and back and kind of pull away from the throw. Try to not do that. Try to keep your sh arms and shoulders and torso, torso stable, arms and shoulders nice and relaxed, and don't lift up and back. Instead, just let the ball go out. You almost kind of want to think, like you want to be kind of hunched back. You want your shoulders to be protracted forward, not pulled back away from the hammer. Um, as you can see, Technical difficulties with my computer screen. Um, yes. So as you can see, shoulders come up, and then your entire body rises up around the left side. Very subtle. Once again, you can kind of look at the hips. They go up about four inches, five inches maybe. Um, that's you rising with the hammer. Don't want to do that. If anything. As you go into single support, you want to drop. You, you want your hips to go down while the ball goes up. You want to counter the ball. Um, so once again, that's kind of a big thing is, like I said, you want to go back and forth, not up and down. But if you do go up and down, you want to do it kind of almost in opposition to the ball rather than with the ball. If you go up with the ball and down with the ball, <coughs> not a very um, efficient throw. So outside of that, moving on. You can see, so you're trying to get that foot down early, and you can see this is very typical in beginner hammer throwers. They try to get that right foot down by pushing their hips kind of back and putting their right foot down. As you can see, this weird kind of pitched back hip position. I mean, you're over your left side, which is good, but uh, this right leg is not in a very strong position. Um, you do a good job of settling into it and eventually getting your hip into it. But uh, try to get that right hip a little bit more forwards. The right hip is kind of back away. Try to get that right hip a little bit more underneath you on this first catch. You come down on the heel, which is cool. Um, that's something I'm playing with as well right now. But yeah, same thing. A little steep. And the entry means the ball's a little bit high there for the first turn. So then it comes down and crashes on you and pulls you forwards. And then you can see 
as you're in double support, once again, your foot comes down and your chest also comes forward just a little bit until about right here and then it starts to go back. Um, once again, you don't want to go forwards with the ball. You want to go backwards in opposition when the ball is going forwards. It's kind of, once again, it's kind of countering in a, in a, in a different way, not necessarily what most people always talk about. Um, so uh, with that little bit of forward movement, you're fighting backwards. You're doing your best, but you could do better. That's kind of what you need to improve. Your right hip is getting into the throw pretty good. Arms don't look too tight. Uh, a little bit less lift with the shoulders through here so far. But then, again, you see this little bit of rise up here. Very subtle once again. As that right foot comes off, shoulders go up. Hips rise up just a little bit. Ball's even steeper. So once again, because you got pulled forward, you don't have quite that. You want to feel the ball pull you towards the sector. Um, and uh, it's just not quite there right now uh, because it is so steep and you're a little bit rotational because of that. So same thing here as in the first catch. Right hip is a little bit back, turned ahead. Um, try to face your hips to the hammer a little bit more. Step towards the ball, step towards the sector. And like I say, get that right hip more forwards. Um, kind of like a front. You can see you're kind of knock kneed right here. You want to be a little bit more, uh, think about kind of like a split squat, front squat, lunge position. Um, just a little funky in this uh, lower body right here because that right foot is turned ahead, but that left foot is staying back. The left foot, left leg's doing a good job. You just got to have that right hip and right leg facing the ball a little bit more with that right hip, like I said, more forwards towards the ball. And then same thing, what goes up, must come down. You can see that once again, slight shoulder lean into the throw because you do come around a little bit, over rotate with the foot. And then once again, you're fighting back out of it. Left side's doing a bit to make that happen. But then right side does a good job getting forward. So you're, you're doing a good job through double support. You could be a little bit longer on the ground here but then you want to think about driving this right hip towards the high point. So as the ball gets to its high point here, step that right hip towards the sector, which you do a good job, but then you think you need to step around. Well, you don't do it as much there, but this is better than the previous two turns. So drive this right hip towards the hammer, step towards the sector, put your foot down. Big thing that I've noticed is you're on your heel, at least for through these first three turns. Try to be on the ball of the foot. The heel catch in the first turn is cool. Heel catch in the second turn, a little less cool. Heel catch in the third turn, um, I think you're sacrificing some things by doing that. I mean, it's good for stability, once again, which is good for a small uh, thrower like you. But uh, if you really want to get some power into it, you need to get up on that toe, at least in later turns. Um, It'll be a little bit more challenging when it comes to balance, but yeah. Left leg's good. Right leg still kind of same thing as before. Could your right hip's a little bit more forwards, but could be facing the ball a little bit more. Could be facing the sector a little bit more. Catching a little bit deeper, which is good. And then you come down. Let's see. It's the same thing, just not much. Pendulum. Pendulum is as the ball goes through zero, you need to lean back through. As you can see, your shoulders don't really move at all. They get to this point of neutrality, kind of like right here, and they need to go backwards just a little bit more. Um, you do it a little bit, but you, you need more. Um, so, yeah, you can see if you just settled in and leaned back just a little bit more as the ball comes through, kind of. These few frames are here, you gotta lean back into the throw. And then, yep. So since you're missing that pendulum, you're not leaning back, you're not countering the forces of the hammer enough backwards as it comes through zero, it's pulling you forwards. You gotta counter it backwards, you gotta play tug of war, you gotta tie it, maybe slightly beat it a little bit, but not too much. It's a very fine balance. Um, but because you don't quite have that pendulum, you don't, have the energy of the ball pulling you forwards in single support so the ball gets steeper. Very steep here. You can't even see the ball. It's out of frame right now. But it's up there. 
and then because of that, you you're gonna see this giant over rotation. Not giant, I shouldn't say that, but you can see your right foot comes back around. You catch much later than the previous turn. So you had a kind of good thing building through three turns, and then the fourth turn, um, like I said, you're just missing that direction, so you can't quite feel the energy of the ball pull you forwards, and then you gotta kind of fight out of it. Which you do a good job of, but the, some things to be fixed. Um, so let's just take a quick glance at the side view to kind of give you another idea of things I'm talking about. Um, this throws a little bit better, so I think it, well, it'll be better. Um, once again, hands up, as you can see, these are kind of like down at about probably like a 30 degree angle if this was zero, negative 30. You want it to be more up, once again, just to add about uh, think about keeping your hands up about the sternum level. Um, hands above the belly button is another good one. Or uh, even just trying to keep your hands up at shoulder level might help a little bit with the pulse, with the that pendulum that I'm talking about. Because, like I said, what happens is hands down here, ball's pulling you a little bit more forwards than it needs to. And then from this angle, you can't really see the shoulder rise. You can see the ball get ahead. That's nice. And it's at this point, your right hip needs to step towards the hammer. <coughs> Heel catch. Coming back. So you catch better on this throw. Settle back. You see your hips kind of starting to shift back. See your shoulders starting to shift back a little bit, but then they go up. All right, you got to stay down and lean backwards into the throw. Right hip steps forwards. As you can see, once again, you're kind of stepping around. You got to step to the ball, step forwards to the ball. And then same thing here. Hips kind of settle back. Shoulders settle back a little bit, but they need to do more. Your hips need to get more towards your hands, and your shoulders need to go a little bit more back. As you can see, they barely make it back over your hips. And then because of that, the ball's getting real steep. If your hands, or I mean, if your arms and your torso make greater than a 90 degree angle, that's going to make things really hard on you. So that's kind of what's happening here. As you can see, ball is steep. I would call this about 110 degree angle. I'm not a geometrist. Don't think that's a thing, but uh, not specializing in geometry, obviously. So, uh, yeah, a little steep in the orbit. Same thing. Hips kind of turn ahead of the hammer. Um, so you're catching a little bit later. And then because the ball's so steep, shoulders barely get back over the hips. And then the ball gets even steeper. So a little bit higher here, even than it was in the last turn. Starting to rise up more through the lower body. You catch better than in the last throw, the other throw, but still a little bit later. And then you fight out of it pretty good. So, I mean, like, there's some things in there. You do some things well. But um, definitely got to flatten out the orbit a little bit. Being shorter, being steeper is generally not the way to go, um, especially through the first two turns. Three and four kind of develop as they will, but if you can keep the orbit a little bit flatter through one and two, that'll be good. Um, so lots of things in there I think I commented on. Like I said, the biggest thing is kind of feeling that lean backwards into the throw and then feeling the ball pull you forward towards the sector. That's the biggest thing to kind of feel. And like I said, flattening out that orbit will help that a lot. Outside of that, your patience is pretty good. Your hips could be a little bit better. Your your, I guess the right hip needs to step more towards the sector. But overall, pretty good for a junior in high school. Five five, pretty small, but one hundred fifty feet. So yeah, that's, that's decent. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Some nice father daughter bonding time. Love to see it. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Sean Don. Peace and out. Shop and analysis coming next.